when we get into the mouse. Okay, again, some of you are understanding the mouse, but let's just run through a few of the different things that the mouse does. All right, left mouse button. Now, reverse this if you're left-handed or if you've reversed your buttons or, you know, if you've set your mouse up differently or you have extra buttons, you know, that I'm just covering the base, basics here. Um, left mouse button is used to draw things. Click and draw. It's used to select things. All right, what do I mean by select things? When you want to select items in your plan, if you're in the right mode for window, I can select windows by left clicking on it. If I'm on roof, I can select a roof by left left clicking on it. All right, if I hit my space bar and I select this icon right here, that's the select all icon, space bar. All right, now I can left click on pretty much anything. I can even double click on pretty much anything and open the dialog for that item. Okay, space bar highlights that. Now you can left click on anything single or double double click so that's the left mouse button um, so that's what the push space bar is for select all and then you can double click you can also grab and drag items and when you're grabbing and dragging items in a plan if you want to drag items freely in your plan simply hold your control key down and instead of it bumping into things if you hold your control key down it moves it freely throughout your plan you can let go then and, and it, it'll stay where you put it. That works on the floor plan as well as 3D views. All right, so that's the left mouse button. So that's your control key. Hold your control key down while you grab it and drag it. And then you can move it. All right, now the, um, one other little tip about that. If you grab it, so I'm holding my left mouse button down now, but I haven't started moving. And now I hold my control key down. Oh, I take that back. It used to keep it lined up. It doesn't do that anymore. That's because we have our bumping and pushing over here. By the way, this is the little icon that's kind of important. If things are not bumping into walls and, and snapping against each other, make sure that that icon bumping and pushing is turned on. And then things will bump into other things. All right. Um, the uh, right mouse button is used for a whole bunch of different things and you may or may not be aware of this so again I, I covered this last Thursday but I'm going to cover it again now because some of you weren't on that call and so the right mouse button let's go back to a plan let's just go to a blank plan let me close this and I don't need to save it and <clears throat> all right I'll just do it right here um, the right mouse button is used for picking things it's your pick button so without selecting anything else in your plan you can right click on just about everything in your plan when you put your cursor on top of it so that's what I'm doing now is I'm right clicking now let's go into preferences for one second that's the P right here and go to appearance and we're gonna look at this item right here and what you want to do is check this in click twice to display what that does is that contextual menu that normally drops down when you right click on something is now you now need to click twice to get that menu so when I click on a wall I don't get it when I right click again I get the menu okay first time I click I get nothing because generally that's what I want 90% of the time I don't want the menu because I just want to click on something to grab it to move it to dimension it all right if I really want it, I double click on the item and I get my menu. So that's um, that's that setting. Now, the other things you can do with the right mouse button. All right, when you draw a line and you grab it with your right mouse button, you can bend that line. If you draw a line and you hold your control key down, you can right click and bend that line freely with no snapping. Okay. So I could go in here and I'll just click this and bend it back the other way. That's how you can create curved draw. I'll show you that again in a second. All right, it's also used for making curved stairs. Right click, curve your stair. Now, you'll notice that when I draw a line and I click on it, I get three handles. And I've set my handles differently here. All right, those three handles, um, if we look at a stairway, or a road or a sidewalk 
here's we, we've basically got a white line going down the middle of this there's my three handles so it's the same exact thing as this CAD line all right so we've got a sidewalk or we got a stairway we can go in here and go to my terrain features and I could go get a sidewalk straight sidewalk yes turn that layer on same thing I got a CAD line going down the middle of that okay right mouse click I can bend that hold my control key down I can bend it freely hit number three on your keyboard and you can break that CAD line and then come back and bend it the other way alright so that right mouse button is used to bend things really works very well so anything based on a polyline can be bent with your right mouse button and um, the other thing the right mouse button does use for drawing walls if you start drawing one wall it just keeps going just draw click draw click draw click and it's used for drawing CAD lines so again just draw 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 and there you go so the right mouse button is used for drawing things all right and it's also used for making stairs go down all right so when you're drawing stairs by default they go up if you use your right mouse button the stairs will go down from the floor that you're drawing them on the only time you'd want stairs to go down is from a deck down to terrain or something like that that's your stairs yep. going down also a little side note if mm -hmm. you've got your terrain constructed you use the click stair and it will find the terrain off your deck oh okay perfect yep yep so that's the this one right uh, click stair right here yep okay cool works great yep so so if the terrain is in your plan same with decks if the terrain is already in your plan the deck tool the deck room name deck will put footings on, in posts all the way down the terrain um, same with and then click stairs will go terrain from your deck down to your terrain so thanks good point okay um, the other thing is the center wheel it's used to pan and zoom in and out so basically wherever you put your cursor you zoom in and out from there if you hold that center wheel down it turns into the hand and you can pan around on the screen where you want that to go alright so that's that so that's your uh, center wheel